This is a paid advertisement for Cano. Hey everybody, today we have another fun activity. We are gonna be building our own magic wands using the Harry Potter Cano coding kit. So, these are wands and basically you code to make them magical and work. First you have to build it, then you code, and then you can just wave your magic wand and it does a bunch of cool stuff. So it says build a coding wand, learn to code, 70 plus step by step challenges. Play with your tablet or your computer. It's recommended for ages six and up. If you're a beginner or an expert or like these guys, you should have no problem. Okay. Let's All right, ready? Let's see them. Okay. Boom, here it comes. Oh, here it comes. Let's open this baby up. Ooh, that actually looks really cool. cool. Oh, okay, that's so cool. here's what we get. You have your wand pieces. We have our electronics. We even have two AAA batteries. We better take out that instruction booklet so we know what we're doing and we don't do anything wrong. So what is the first step? So it says, this is your coating wand. It's made of plastic, rubber, copper, and electronics. So first, you need to get up this piece. Okay, that is the brain. Now we have to add power, so we gotta flip it over. We need to insert our batteries into here. Well, the brain is actually called the printed circuit board, or PCB. And it says, look closely at the parts, and these are all the different parts of the circuit board. Look at it, it's blinking. Yeah, look at all these colors. So you guys can probably tell these connect to your device via Bluetooth. So if your computer has Bluetooth, you can connect to it. Okay, so when it's on, we know because the blue light is blinking. And what are some of these parts here? So inside the little black square, there are three sensors. A gyroscope that senses gravity, an accelerometer, and that knows your speed, and a magnetometer, and that calculates the coating wand's direction. Okay, so next you have to grab this button. So there's a little diamond and you place that diamond to there. So okay, then so there's that... a little button. Now that you have this, you're gonna put it inside the coating wand. So make sure just to flip that right there. Snap it in. Now that you put the brains in, you have to put on this cover piece. We better put on the strap. We don't want any flying wands. When you wave your coating wand, the sensors turn your movement into data and the PCB beams that data to your computer. And then, once your computer receives the data, it turns it into code. It understands whether you go right, left, up, down, slow, fast, and then it makes a code. Okay, so for the rest of what's inside here, we have a bunch of stickers and you can decorate your wand with them if you like. You also got a cool poster that you can hang up on your wall or whatever. It looks pretty cool. Oh, uh, those are instructions how to do some spells. Here's the quick guide to wand motions. We have all these cool little spells you can cast. Guardian Leviosa. Flipendo. Reducio. Uh, the wand doesn't have a microphone, so it doesn't need to even hear you, but you can say them just for fun. It can sense your motions and know what spell you're trying to cast. And Gorgio. Lumos. Augmenti. Okay, these guys are customizing their wands with the sticker. We have our devices and we're gonna start up the free app. What are we gonna try first? So I think we do play. Ooh, what are all these? Ooh, play. Uh, let's do this one, this one looks cool. As you can see, right there on the top right, you can see my wand going with fire, isn't that cool? Yeah, when I move it, it moves along with it. And then, um, right here is all the coding for it, right there. So this is just the pre-made stuff. So you can use your own creativity and you can actually change the code to make it do different things, right? Yeah. Oh, this one's cool, you can draw. That's kind of satisfying, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> I'm coding it right now to see if I can make it so it never goes away. So oh, you can yeah. adjust things like the particle lifespan, the particle start color, particle start size, now, end as you size. Can see, it's now as you can see, it stays for way longer, see, look at that. Whoa. Now, we're gonna be doing a challenge, let's try. Quidditch pitch. Light as a feather. Levitate a feather. Go to that. Use a when app starts block to run code as soon as the app starts. Open the event tray. Use a objects create block to add objects to the canvas. Open the object tray. 
gonna open that. Okay. So it's really easy to change up the code and customize it, right? Yeah, change owl to feather. Press the owl and change it to feather. Use an on spell motion block to run code while the spell motion is performed. Drag the block into your code space. First, stop the feather from falling. Open the object tray. Drag the block into your code space. Change pin to freeze. Use an every one second block. Drag it, connect it to it, this block. It's very easy because it goes by each step Change one at a time, right? seconds to milliseconds to run the code faster. Now set the position of the feather. Set the position of the feather to the position of the coding wand pointer. Drag the block into your code space. Connect it to this block. Put it right here. Finally, rotate the feather to match the rotation of the coating wand. Open the wand tray. Drag the block onto your code space. So turn pitch to roll. Oh, making the feather make it fly. Oh, Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, so you can also customize your character. By doing challenges, you can unlock more features for your character. So I can add these Harry Potter glasses. I'll give them some new hair. Face, you can also change the face. Okay, I'll do a couple more challenges. Let's do one in Hagrid's hut. Cracking idea, put the dragon egg into the fire. Puzzle, using the code blocks provided to move Hagrid's junk out of the way to help the dragon egg roll into the fire. So there's the egg and then there's the fire. Let's do on one point over all. Wait, what if I just did object remove all? It might get rid of the egg too. Oh yeah, it got, mid it got rid of the egg. So we don't want that. But maybe I could make it, oh, make it so. Let's do this. Remove the apple. So let's get that apple out of there. Get the cheese out of there. And let's get the lamp out of there. Let's get rid of these. Out of here. So now, can I make this egg roll? Roll! Roll! Object spin. Yeah, maybe I need to make it spin. Not all, just the egg. Okay, so let's get rid of that and... Egg roll! And bam, I solved it. They also have all these other creations of people around the world. You can join Cano World, the free creative community. Create your own wand art, games, and music. Be inspired by muggles in 86 countries. Evan did some challenges. Now he's going to put on his Harry Potter glasses because he's going to create his own spell. What is it? I'll just create whatever I want. Okay, so let's <laughs> do. I'm trying to make it so I can have particles. Okay, so now I made it so when I can make, when I put up my wand up, an owl appears in um, a flash of particles. Oh, two! Oh, I can make as many as I want! Okay guys, so that was a look at the Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit. The kids got to do some cool coding challenges. And now that they know the basics, they can go and create their own spells. Okay. And rack up some achievements, and get some more things for their avatar. Mm. Pretty cool. The Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit is available via Cano.me and selected retailers in the US, UK, and Canada. It retails for $99.99 starting on October 1st, 2018. Whoa. Ooh, so you can get okay. yours soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.